Hello friends, this is Muhammad Shakil here and in this tutorial series you'll be learning how you can create a foldable table in Kitty V5. This is the work in progress and this is the completed CAD product. And here is the rendered image. Let's get back to the work in progress. Before that, we'll close this particular part as it's pointless to open it. And just uh, we'll we need to place the clamps here, here, and here, and here. So it's we need four clamps. So initially, we'll see how we can uh, place the clamp here. So what we do is we'll go for coincidence. So before that, before we assemble anything, let's just make sure that the first part is fixed. So insert, we'll go for fix, and fix this particular element. Now let's, uh, okay, there's a plane here. We don't need a plane. Let's see from where the plane is coming from. So it's coming from here. Let's just hide this geometric set and save the element and let's get back to the product workbench once again and now we will go for insert and contact constraint let's take this face and this bottom face and give the contact constraint click on ok now let's get update that Now we have it this way. Now we'll go for coincidence and we'll coincide this hole and this hole. And then we'll coincide this hole with this hole. I hope it makes sense. Now let's just uh, click on update and it gets updated this way. So we have uh, done initially for the first one. Now what you can do is you can just copy this and paste the next element and you can go for edit move and before doing that let's just first hide the element that we have already constrained and go for edit manipulate and with respect to constraint and let's uh, move it with respect to the not the X, we need to move it with respect to the Y axis. So edit move manipulate. And with respect to the Y axis, we'll move it. We'll, move it. we'll keep it a little bit close here. We'll click on OK and go for edit insert coincidence. Now let's just coincide this with respect to this and we'll just skip update. And it gets updated and uh, there is no more. Uh, constraining cred there. If you would like to do so, you can always do so by just going for coincidence and coinciding that with that. And that's that. That's got updated. You can also give a, a contact constraint by just moving it down. Edit move and manipulate. And just uh, move it down with respect to the constraint and just click on OK. And if you would like a closer view, you can go for render style and perspective and that gives you a perspective view and just go for contact constraint and just contact constraint for this and this and just click on update and just gets updated and just hide this element and after a while we'll see what happens i've just fast forwarded and i've created uh, the remaining I've, I've just assembled the remaining clamps here and as you can see here, all the clamps are being placed on the right places. 
I've just followed or I just repeated the same steps that I've followed here and I just didn't want it to record it wanted it to be recorded and just make it tiresome so this is how it looks after assembling all the different clamps so this is all and I'll see we'll see uh, what is the next part to be created mostly it'll be the the second clamp here which uh, connects the legs of the foldable table so I hope you enjoyed if you have any doubt you can comment below the video thank you so much for watching and stay tuned